How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and today I'm going to show you how to get into Saint 14's Tomb in Destiny 2 Curse of Osiris DLC. If you like these kind of tips and trick videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the video. Subscribe for more Destiny 2 and Halo 5. So let's get right into it. So to get into Saint 14's Tomb, what you first have to do is unlock the mission called Legends Lost. And the way you do that is by first completing a uh, the previous mission which is one of the lost prophecies and then you have to grind the hell out of strikes and public events and as well as crucible matches essentially to get yourself to fossilize Hermaean blossoms I believe is how you pronounce it to advanced paradox amplifiers so, or 20 paradox amplifiers and then two advanced Riddlorian cultures or 20 of those as well and so that eventually you un lock enough of those and then you're able to start the mission and basically the mission just kind of starts like a regular adventure it's a lot of fun really enjoy playing this i'm just kind of skip through all the battles right here and so then i don't have any spoilers for you guys and want you to experience it how i did for the first time it was a great time i'll get you all the payouts so you, you jump into the uh you know you jump right into the infinite forest you blow up all the things and then you reach out to the end and then you get into the uh, future, the dark future of Mercury. And once you can walk in there, you start walking up the hill. And instead of going up to the right, like you've done for the up and up adventure, you walk over to the left to this big red tower over there. And over there, you have to fight a few ways of enemies. Again, I'm not going to spoil anything there for you guys. Uh, tip for you guys is just be very careful, be methodical, don't rush it. Because once you get into the dark future, it's a no respawn location. And so you definitely don't want to go back and redo the entire section over again. Take your time, blow stuff up. It's a lot of fun. It's one of the best missions I've played in Destiny 2. Probably one of the best in Curse of Cyrus as well. So what I'm going to do guys is leave you with the gameplay of me walking into the tomb so you can see how it's done and I'll catch you guys here later on in this video at the end to let you know how to get the shotgun as well that you get from this mission. What happened? Vex. Thousands of them. Saint Fourteen's light. It's gone. Rest in peace, my friend. Osiris, I'm so sorry. I... I think we should leave him here. It looks like the infinite forest laid him to rest. Built him a... memorial. Did the Vex learn to respect him? Saint-14 must have been here for years, decades. He ran out of ammo and just kept fighting. I don't think I ever told you this, but Saint-14 was one of the first Guardians I ever met, even before I found you. I always hoped you'd turn out like him. I wasn't disappointed. You were a good friend, Saint. Goodbye. So yeah, that's Saint Fourteen's tomb. Pretty cool, right? That's uh, I got really excited while playing that portion. I was like, wow, man, I get to actually check out Saint Fourteen. Is he actually dead? Is he alive? I don't know. We'll see. Turns out he's dead. So sad face panda right there. But then you get to complete the mission. Then what you do after that, you go back over to Vance over in the Tower of Mercury. He gives you a little spiel about how this is actually you're gonna get his shotgun. You then you go over to the forge. You forge it out, and boom, you get the perfect paradox shotgun so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it. if you like these kind of videos please make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see more 
content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought of the, the Curse of Osiris DLC or if you had a chance to play around the Perfect Paradox sh shotgun yet. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, you can always tap subscribe for more awesome Destiny 2 and Halo 5 content. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.